Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create green screen transparencies in Explandio 3.0. Let me explain. I created this short video using these moving panels with a video in the background, thanks to the inspiration from an EVC Facebook group member, Charles West. This effect was created using moving green screen transparencies like the ones you're seeing right now. I created these transparencies using EVC 3.0 and then used the green screen feature in Explained Your Video Effects. If you don't have Explained Your Video Effects, you can always use another green screen application. This is the last section of the video and it was created in PowerPoint 2016 and I will create a separate tutorial to show you how to create this animation. Okay, so first let's start off with EVC 3.0. I've created this project file with four scenes as you can see. In each scene I've created a set of green panels with different arrangements like so. And then I applied various animation presets to these panels. For the first scene I applied these animation presets to the green panels. And for the text I applied a slide from down animation. This is what the animation looks like in action. Ok so now let me quickly create one of these scenes. Okay, so let me start by creating a new scene. And then I'll insert a green box image using this add bitmap image. I'll choose don't sketch and add. Then what I'll do is I will duplicate this green panel twice by clicking this icon right here, twice, and then I'll add a text box. So here I've got these three boxes. I'm just going to place them and adjust. I'm, I'm using the shift key here to place these boxes the way I want them. And I'll do the same for the text. I'll just, uh, I think I had Canada here. And then I change the font. Just increase the size. And then finally I'll just change the text color. So now let's add some animations. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the size of the timeline and then just drop all these down. And I'm going to first start by adding jump down animation presets. To the text I'll add slide from down and this is the text by letter. And then the next one I'll add slide from down animation presets. And then finally, I'll add slide from right long. Again, animation presets. I'm just going to move this scene right up front. And then next what we need to do is just adjust all these. As you can see, when you place them first, they all are placed at the beginning of the timeline. So now we just need to adjust them. So I'm just going to do the best that I can and, and replicate what I'd done earlier. So let me just decrease the timeline size and then close the canvas. Let's do a quick preview. So that's what it looks like. Well, that's not too bad. Hope you get the point. Uh, you will have to adjust these sliders on the timeline in order to sort of adjust the animation speed and timing. But hope you get the point in terms of the process. So similarly, what you'd have to do is you'd have to create other scenes with different panel arrangements like the ones that I showed you earlier. All these ones here. And then of course make sure to save the project. Next I created a video for each scene using this create video from scene option. Make sure to choose excellent and stable 
in terms of these options and then hit the start export button. Now it's time to head over to explain your video effects. Click on open video, then choose the green screen panel video and click open. Next choose the green screen option and then upload your background video. Click open. You will then have to play around with this green screen settings. But what worked best for me in this video is just maxing the similarity slider to 1 and completely decreasing the blend slider to 0. As you can see it looks pretty good overall. Next apply the effect and let it do its thing. And then you can play the video to see if you're happy with the output. Then click the save video button. You will have to repeat this process for all of your scenes. And finally put them together in a video editor to stitch the whole video together. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. You'll find many more explained your tutorials on my YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.